because there was one more game that got released exactly three months after after Fatal Fury Special. Uh, where's this? where's it? There it is. Right before the end of uh, of nineteen ninety three. It's a mere, a mere 90 megs. A mere 90 megabits. NGH number 62. And this is the, uh, the first game by a new uh, third-party developer for the Neo Geo. Uh, have you heard of this company called Data East? They kind of they kind of released some some stuff on their own. They decided uh, to sign on as a third party developer for the Neo Geo, and uh, they released uh, their first game was this Spin Master, a game which. Uh, Kind of uses the characters from another another game Data East had released on the Genesis called Dash and Desperados. It's very clearly the same characters. Oh yeah, you get a yo-yo in this game. Although I'm probably not going to end up using it for for very long. You get a bunch of weapons. You get shurikens. You get boxing gloves. You get bombs, fireballs, icicles, homing missiles. We got it all in Spin Master. So yeah, this is the uh, the uh, the first game Data East released for the Neo Geo, and I just I noticed this recently when I was like uh, looking through the game list, like uh, just going through all the Data East stuff. Um, this is kind of spoilers. They didn't release a single bad game for the Neo Geo. Like none of their none of the, their output for the Neo Geo is anything that would. You know, make you go, oh, this this sucks. I'm not gonna play this. This is this is Legend of Success Joe tier. Like all their games are, oops, are like pretty playable. Not all their arcade output was <laughs> was good. <laughs> they they released some garbage, like uh, like B wings and stuff like that. But but they. Uh, their data east their, their 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 Neo Geo output was was pretty good. Maybe it depends on your your feelings on Street Hoop. But also this game's also known as Miracle Adventure, by the way. Put that in the title. Anyway, I don't have a I don't have a manual for this, so. We're just gonna jump right into it. I actually uh, streamed this fairly fairly recently for online tournament, so this game is kind of kind of fresh in my head. Maybe I can get a one CC on it. We won't stress out too much though. Speed Master. I think Spin Master is one word. <laughs> Oh yeah, the cowboy is bongo colored. So hey, this isn't a kick punch game. This is an honest to god platformer. This is what diehard game fan has been has been crying out for. This is what they've been wanting to see: action games on the Neo Geo. Is this their dreams come true? Oh yeah, you got a. I always forget you have a slide move in this game. Yeah, it's definitely got a, a caveman ninja feel. Let's book him out. Oh, yeah, you start with a with a yo-yo, but you get other weapons. Basically, you want the the shuriken, the double weapon. It should show up somewhere in the stage. Oh god, <laughs> I jumped on the knife. Nice. Okay, I think there's a, a secret up here. There's a lot of secrets in this game. Extra bomb. Not that bomb. Uh, 
Where is the uh, the double weapon? I think I hit. It's not good. I'm going too fast. There we go. Awesome. If you hold down the button, you do like a. You have like an alternate firing method, I guess. But for this, it just gives you a genie gen. If you're playing for score, you have to jump on their heads because you get more points for that. If you do, like, multiple jumps in a row. I'm not going to worry about that. Get out! Get thou. Uh, get out here, Dr. Wily. Yeah, the double weapon kind of kind of wrecks this boss. That's the first stage. You are finished, <laughs> it wrecks the whole game. I must save Mary. Yeah, maybe I should have played on player two side so I could be the the bongo cowboy. Oh man, stage two, and you already get to go to Egypt. Is the place to be. Okay, I'm trying to avoid the other weapons. I don't want them. Oh, secret. Extra gold. More extra gold. Oh my god, I'm gonna, I'm gonna lose a life really early. Shit. That's not good. That's not good for 1ccs. I'm gonna use a bomb here. Worried about dying now. I almost want to restart, but yeah. <laughs> as long as I'm not playing for score, I think this is uh, not too bad. A one cc. Are you dead? Good. And yeah, like Scuddy said, like all the. All the health ups in this game are random. They're not random, they're hidden. They're not random. I used the wrong word. So you have to know where all the secrets are. There's a couple of there's a couple hidden one ups too. And those are the only extends in the game. They don't give you extra lives for points or anything like that. Yeah, we got a minecart stage. Luckily you can't fall off. Uh, I'm gonna use a bomb here. We're not playing for score, it's fine. Almost got punched. Why do they have a minecart in Egypt, anyway? Do pyramids have, like, minecarts? I thought there was a secret back here. Yeah, you can get a lot of points if you, like, jump on these rocks. And the mummies. But I'm not going to worry about that. Jump. Crack, crack, crack. Okay, I want to wait for the other fire to come out on the right side. Then we jump. There is a hidden, well, not really a hidden timer. If you if you take too long in an area, like you eventually get told, "Hey, hurry up!" But it's pretty lenient. Okay, I did not want that. Can I just jump up here? There we go. So I 
have to... There's like a hidden thing on the platform on the left. Just getting it, you have to worry about the fire. Maybe that's the next one. Isn't it right here? There's the bomb up. I might have missed the one up. I think I missed the one up. <laughs> Shit. Oh, that's not good. Health right here, though. Oh shit, Sam Shark. I'll check that in a second. Yeah. Son of a bitch. There was a one up down there, but I missed it. Alright, I'm just gonna have to use bombs on the boss. Yeah. I don't like these snacks. Another one. You <laughs> but yeah, you don't get health back between stages. Yeah, there's a one up in that section, but I think I, I think I jumped in the wrong part. Luckily, if you go up here, there's another watermelon there. I have enemy crabs. Enemy crabs that shoot bubbles. Crap, crap, crap. Okay, now I'm going I'm going too slow. <laughs> Not that it matters, I got plenty of time. The Great Wall of China, known for its crab infestation. That's just common knowledge. I feel so weird I'm not going for points on these rocks. After that last tournament I played in. Oh, you... Yeah, yeah. I got another auto scroller. As long as you have the the double shuriken, like a lot of this game gets trivialized. Like it doesn't seem that good. It's kind of short range, but most of the weapons in this game are short range attacks. This just gives you a nice, uh, it covers a uh, 45 degree angle above you, so it just covers a good range of the, of the screen if your stuff is like right in front of you. Oh, no, you can't fall out of the boat here, the boat automatically tracks with you. So it's kind of weird you have these stages, but you can't fall in the water. I can't fall off the minecart. They wanted to make this as fair as possible, I guess. Uh-oh. I don't like this. I'm not using the bomb. This is kind of a shoot pattern. I'm not sure if that was going to hit me. I'm just going to use all my bombs. You get bombs back between stages, so why not? You just lose out on bonus points. I got a third piece of the map. There's another water stage. If you touch the water, you get hurt, of course. It's a surprisingly generous game, except for the fact that you don't get health back between stages. And 
health ups are kind of hard to find. Oh, that was a... I can pick up those stars for more points. Yeah. Yeah. That fish almost got me. Yeah, I don't want either of those weapons. The homing missile sounds good in theory, but it's it's like the worst weapon because it takes so long to like uh, reload. Uh, is there gonna be like a... oh, this is all just garbage? I was gonna do it, but I got scared. Oh, it's just gold. I could've picked that up for points. There's only five stages, by the way. This is stage four. It's not a very long game. I think this stage has three scenes. This is four, two. Oh, I don't want the glove. All right, catch his hands. I think bomb is better than glove because you can actually like, throw the bomb out. I don't throw a big bomb. Bomb's probably like the second best weapon after the the double shot. He's bomb. Didn't like that situation. There is health coming up if I like make the make it to. Uh, Pass those jumps. Don't die on the Kool-Aid. Okay. I was about to use another bomb. Shut up. I didn't pass the thing, did I? Right here. Gotta make these jumps. There's health up here. Full health. Nice. A one CC is alive. And then they give you some health back here anyway. Those are like the only health items that are like visible the entire time. They just give, in, give them to you for free. I could have spaced those out a little better. Yes! Good shit. I've never actually played Dash and Desperados. Ah, fuck! I got punched in the back of the head. Right when I get full health, I take a hit. Better than dying, I guess. I thought it'd be something good, like a bomb. Yeah. A special weapon bomb, I mean. Not the normal weapon bomb. Something right here. Oh my god, I'm getting my ass kicked. Fucking fish! Man, the boss was right here, too. The boss is easy. Alright, whatever. As long as I can get the extra life in the last stage, I'll be fine. Spooky ghost. 256 tons at overflow. Bomb. I did a lot of damage. Nothing's gonna stop me now. Alright, final stage. Uh, something over here. Yes. 
Oh, of course they gave me health right there. Well, whatever. You get a lot of points if you jump on these, uh, these soldiers. These warriors. They need to make the, the Toki plate dropping noise when they die. Can I make this jump? Oh god. Okay. That was bad. Oh god. I forgot about that. Jump out of the pool, away, please. Forgot about all this shit. The game decided to get hard in the last stage. Or at least be kind of a dick. Don't want that. I don't remember where the next health up is. You dare drop that rock on me, you stupid bird. Might be in this area. There's definitely a one-up in this area. Get hit by the turd water. Maybe it was down here. Yeah. I remembered. that. Thank you. Yeah, they were they were probably in development at the same time. I guess Data East like had had big plans for these characters and then just kinda kinda dropped it. These guys are gonna be the next Karnov. They were not the next Karnov. They're not bad characters. Ah, fuck. Okay, so I gotta, like, go down. Get the one up. Yeah, this game is lacking in Karnovs. Alright, final scene. Auto scroller and scrolling elevator. Don't get overwhelmed. Oh, okay. uh, I don't remember which side you want to be on. Let's just go on this side. Why didn't that hit? Oh god, I lost my weapon. Oh, I got it back. We in there, baby? been a really sloppy run. <laughs> Par for the course tonight, I guess. I mean, this game is more more easily playable than Arcade Karnov. Arcade Karnov is like a game where you have to know what the fuck you're doing. You have to know where all this hidden shit is. You got another right route through each level. It's got a goofy charm to it. I mean, it is a, a classic, I guess, but... Alright, final boss! This guy's like a Wonder Boy boss. Pop one head off, another one appears. Uh, I shouldn't have done that. I'm stuck here now. I don't want those gloves. Okay. But these patterns are not that scary. Uh, 
Naked Medusa. But again, the double shot just kind of just kind of melts them. Oh, there's Mary. I'm gonna look up her dress. All right, the actual final boss. Just kind of gets obliterated by double shot. Yes, yeah, the evil scientist from Destroyer from Bill. You are finished, so now what we're gonna do? We're gonna make a save state. I didn't have a save state for this for some reason. This game has multiple endings. You have to go to one of three locations. You only get one choice. What's in A? The treasure. It's not random. A always gives you the good ending. Well, yeah, I guess it's a good ending. Not really much of an ending, but it's a it's an ending. Forever my love. Oh, we'll look at them. Don't you worry. Soft. <laughs> yeah, they, these boys are always just... They always just look so angry. I don't know what their problem is. But no, there's there's no BBH ending. Not that I remember anyway. Gorilla Man. Okay, let's reload it. B. They got blown up. And then ending C. They got spooked by monsters. Look, just use your damn double shots. They killed everything else. You big wussies. Uh, I guess that's the uh, the replay value. Just uh, play through the game again and see one of the other endings. Yeah, cutscene monsters. You can't fuck with them. They're always way harder to deal with. But yeah, there's like no, there's no like extra bonus or anything for like getting the good ending. No point bonus or anything like that. It's just, uh, I guess it's the same thing. It's just a different JPEG. A different NFT for your collection. All my Spin Master's gone. Yeah, it's it's a cute little game. It's it's fun just to you know jump around and shoot some stuff. At the same time, it is it is a little simple. I mean, obviously, I made it look easy because I've I've played this game a little bit. It was kind of fresh in my head. I know the strats. You know, get the uh, get the double shot and just wreck everything. But like I said, it doesn't. Uh, I guess you can play for score, but then when you start playing for score, like, you just have to start leeching on enemies, and it gets really, really stupid. 
It is kind of interesting having to, uh, to focus more on, like, jumping on enemies, I guess. But at the same time, uh... I don't know, it's... Like I said, it's not a bad game. Data East did not make any bad games on the Neo Geo. Uh, at the same time, though, is it anything, like, revolutionary? Is it a system seller? Nah. What did Die Hard game, game fans say about this? I think they said, like, we need to do another read-along, but we're not doing that tonight. They said something like they were, you know, they were... They were so happy it was an action game, but it's over in, like, half an hour. And they couldn't really decide if it was actually worth 200 bucks. Which, I mean... Would you want to pay $200 for this in 1993 money? Probably not. But for just, like, throwing a few tokens in at the arcade? Sure, why not? That's the beauty of the Neo Geo. Yeah, let me get some music up. Alright. Yes, yeah, this, this is gonna be a difficult game to rank. <laughs> it's not bad! But at the same time, it doesn't really do anything... Anything wild. So, where are we, uh... Well, first of all, we're going to do something about Cyberlip later, but let's figure this out first. Um, we have our we have our good good but not great fighting game block here, and there's Sengoku 2, King of the Monsters, Super Spy, Mutation Nation. This is like the the threshold between like a. A good game and a bad game, I think. Easily top five, four, three, three, six. These are higher ratings than I expected. Are we dethrone? Are we knocking Nam nineteen seventy five down again? I don't know about that. Um. <laughs> oh, here we go. Four, three, three, six, two, three, four, seventeen, four, eighteen, seven, six, fifteen, four, five, five. 8-6. A lot of people putting this in the top 5. Which... 6-8-7-15. Lower half of top 10 or just outside of top 10. 5-6. This is such a tough game to rank. I... Where would I put it? <laughs> I would... I would not put it above Last Resort. For Baseball Stars 2. Nine would put it above Viewpoint. That's... That seems like a fair range. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. Cross Swords didn't, uh... Uh... I, I, I think, like, I might have influenced it a little bit accidentally when I, when I fucked up continuing on it, because I accidentally held the button for, like, two frames and sped through the continue countdown and had to, like, load up a fucking video because I didn't have a, a save state ready for it. Um... <laughs> I know, Cross Horse is going, like, lower and lower now. Hmm. Yeah, like, top ten, maybe. Ten would be, yeah, above World Heroes 2. Or below. Eleven would be, like, below World Heroes 2. Uh... This music ain't that great. Um. Yeah, if there's if there's like enough people that are, if the Cross Swords fan club like gets mad at me, we'll try to re-rank that. <laughs> but uh, I didn't feel that that strongly about it.
Yeah, I'm kind of surprised Blue's Journey is that low now. But Blue's Journey is kind of a... I don't know, some people like that game? I, I think it's okay. How did that end up so low? This, this list is getting screwier and screwier as time goes on. Um... We shouldn't feel like we have to have, like, all fighting games here. <laughs> like, games should be allowed to, to break this up. I think. But, I mean, that's a... This game's pretty playable. Uh... What do y'all say about... About, uh, uh, number 11? I would put it above Fatal Fury 2. Below World Heroes 2. That seems about right, but we're gonna... We're also gonna do something about little Cyber Lip Boy here. 11 sound good? Alright. I don't think we need to do a poll. Alright, so let's re-rank Cyberlip. <laughs> Cyberlip should not be at number seven. I think we, we we fucked up there. Maybe I maybe it was me like liking that game too much. Um That needs to come down a little bit. Because it is kind of I think it's a charming game, but uh, all the auto scrollers, man. Thirteen, break up the break up the band here. We could do that. I think it's 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 still a fine game. It's playable. It's a playable video game. I am not swapping Cyberlip and Cross Swords. Hell no. Or yeah, we could just put it at uh, put it below Spin Master. That seems like the reasonable thing to do, right? What if we do that? We move uh, we move all these up one, and then Spin Master becomes top ten. How does that sound? Let's do that. If you have objections, yell at me on YouTube. <laughs> well, congrats, Spin Master. You're now in the top ten. <laughs> I don't know. That, that, that seems about right. Can we, uh, can we walk away satisfied here? Can we walk away like we, uh, we did the right thing? Yeah, Magician Lord, I mean, that's a pretty influ influential game. Game fan wouldn't shut up about it. That means it's good, right? Wins. Yo, Shunin, thank you for gifting a sub to, uh, <laughs> Sour, nut Sour Nuts. <laughs> Eight Man deserves better. I, I can understand, like, people... Like, not being on board with 8-Man. Blue's Journey does seem kind of low in retrospect now, but nah. Man, the Super Spy is down to number 18. Remember the, when the Super Spy was like a, a top 5 or top 6 game? Pepperidge Farm remembers. I don't know. Well, <laughs> like I said, if, if enough people, like, get mad at me about Cross Swords, then maybe we'll, we'll re-rank re re it. All right, so we're up to, like, 42 games. That's pretty good. This list is, uh, filling out nicely. It's a date of the last Neo Geo game, like, 2004? Officially.
You know what's kind of crazy? Uh, oh no, wait, Super Sidekicks was really bad. I was gonna say, like, we haven't seen, like, too many games in the bottom 10 get added to the bottom 10 recently. But then I forgot Super Sidekicks and how, how bad that was. So yeah, like, SNK's, uh, SNK and third-party developers, they're starting to step it up. This list is starting to look better. We're getting some some better games in here. Oh, I gotta I gotta show the art. Hold on a sec. Let's take this down. <laughs> yeah, well, we'll do a preview of next week. Don't worry. First of all. <laughs> Thank you, Lele, for... I don't know if I approve of this message, but that's pretty good. <laughs> June 9th, 1922. It all checks out. Poor Nam 1975, man. What was his name? Silver? Silver and Brown? I like the attention to detail with the font. Thank you for... For that, Lele. And thank you. Thank you, Goemon Sama. For like the third Charlotte piece that's been done for this stream. For my streams. That is awesome. Fantastic as always. It's in the uh, the player two outfit too. The Shunin color. <laughs> I keep saying that about every green color now. <laughs> oh, look, you like Charlotte. Well, you know what I have to say about that? Good, she's a good character. I agree. Thank you very much for that. I, yeah, it's always appreciated. I'm not gonna complain. You think I'm gonna complain? Hell no. But yeah, thank you. Thank you very much for that, you two. 